If you've been following along with us on Sunday mornings, you know that we've been looking at Jesus as the prophet and the priest and the king, and this past Sunday, reflecting on the wonder of Pentecost and how, in many ways, it is a complete reversal of what happened at Babel in Genesis chapter 10. And as I finished that address, I was aware of the fact that uh, we are consumed at the moment with the issues that have emerged as a result of the death of a black man in Minnesota. And the challenge that is before us is an opportunity for us in the gospel in this respect, that it is in the gospel that we have the answer to all of these kinds of dilemmas, that it is in the gospel that the walls that are set up between people on the basis of their social status or their ethnicity or their uh, education level, whatever it might be, are broken down in Jesus. And so here's an opportunity for us to recognize that what God is doing in the world is the very thing that people long for, and that is putting together a multilingual, multinational, multi-ethnic group um, of people old and young and boys and girls and rich and poor. And here we have the opportunity to say to one another, black lives do matter. All of our lives matter. And our identity is found not in our ethnic background, but in our identity in the Lord Jesus Christ. So let me encourage you to uh, be zealous in these things and to seize the opportunity to say, we have wonderful news when it comes to this matter. And the news is found in Jesus and is found in the gospel.